Hi, and welcome to the Braddock Carnegie Library. It's always a beautiful day here. Hi everyone, I'm Mandy Williams and I'm the children's librarian here at the Braddock Carnegie Library. Welcome, we are so happy to be partnered up with WQED and Inquire Within, and I can't wait to show you our library, come on in. Okay, here we are inside the library. The first floor of the library is more geared for grown-ups. This is where they can come and get on the computers and check out movies and, of course, lots of books. This is also where they can ask questions if they have any questions about things that are happening in the community or if they need help printing something or need computer help or just want to know what's going on around town. There's usually friendly faces here who can give you all the information that you're looking for. Our library is not only the oldest Carnegie Library in the country, but it is the first one. We were number one. We were the first library that Andrew Carnegie built in America. And he built this library in Braddock because this is where his first steel mill is, and it's still running. You can see there's a lot of steel that was used to build this building, and that was made right here in Braddock. So in 1889, 131 years ago, which was a super long time ago, a lot of people didn't have running water in their houses. So when the guys were done working at the steel mill, they would come downstairs to the bathhouse and they would get all cleaned up and they would come up here and use the library. And guess what you can do in that bathhouse now? You can't take a bath but you can come on Saturdays for kids' clay class. You have to be sure to check that out on our webpage and find more out about that because the bathhouse ceramic studio is super cool. And in this building, there's also a gymnasium and a print shop. There's so many cool things to do here. So are you guys ready to go upstairs to the children's library? That's where all the fun is. All right, let's go. All right, so here we go, up all these steps, all the way up to the second floor, to the children's library. Our building is really old, and in old buildings, you see lots of really neat old things, like really cool old stonework, and tile work, and woodwork, and it's just such a fun, cool, neat old building to work in. And we are really happy and really lucky that we get to come here every day and hang out. So this is the children's library. This is on the second floor. 131 years ago, not too many children hung out here. And this was actually the original library. This is where all the grown-ups came to get their books. And now, I don't know, I think it's a lot more fun this way, don't you? Of course, we have books about just about anything you would ever, ever want to read about. But we also have really awesome things like games and giant puppets that sometimes you can even help make. You can check them out with your library card. And of course, we have computers. A lot of our friends come here and hang out with each other and play games. We have lots of stuff to play with here. Over here is our play area. People like this a lot. You can just hang out and chill with a book. There's lots of toys and blocks and games. And of course, little puppets. <laughs> we do really cool projects here too. This chair was something that we built together one time with an artist in our community. Over here, we have plenty of space for all the fun activities that we do here. We do science experiments. Sometimes we do really cool stuff with food and we do art projects as well. And we invite friends from throughout the community to come and do some pretty cool things with us. Over here, you see a puppet. These are made by Cheryl Capizzuti and she has a lot of workshops with us several times a year and people can come and build puppets that you can then later on check out it's really awesome up here we had a friend named jeff who used to hang out at the library here all the time as a kid and he came back later as a grown-up and he helped us make a cardboard city which was super fun and we also have friends who come 
from the Carnegie Museum of Art to hang out with us and teach us all about different types of art. And sometimes we even get to go on a field trip to the museum with them. So this is our children's library and we have so much fun here. And right through here next to the children's library is our very chill teen space where we have more computers, we have more books, and we have more puppets for you to check out. We have in here lots of books for some of our older readers, middle and high school age fiction and nonfiction, and we also have an awesome collection of graphic novels. We have DC and Marvel and lots of anime and everything in between. So there's something for everybody here. This is the music hall. This is part of the library that most people don't get to see when they come and visit us, but you guys get to come see it today. There's the stage and it's a little bit hard to see, but there's all sorts of beautiful woodwork and metalwork everywhere. It's really, really beautiful. And over here, also a little bit hard to see, there used to be a big organ. There's a little bit of it left. And up here on the stage, a long, long time ago, there used to be really nice concerts and plays and musicals and things like that that happened here. And the kids from Braddock High School from a long, long time ago, they even graduated from high school up on this stage, which was pretty cool. So right now, this part of the building is under construction. And someday we are going to fix it to make it look just as beautiful as it did when it opened all those years ago. Over here you can see our birthday cake from our 130th birthday party. It's not a real cake, but we had fun making it. That's some of the projects that we do here. We do fun things like that. And then you can see all the seats in the music hall. A little bit hard to see. but we're fixing those up. And then there's even an upstairs to this as well. And this can hold a lot of people. And then up here, we have this beautiful skylight. And a long time ago, it used to be glass, but I don't know. Lots of times when things get old, they break. And this big window in the ceiling wasn't in the best shape. So they decided to redo it and it's not a window anymore, but they painted it to make it look like a window and made it look like the sky a little bit. So that is our fabulous music hall. Well, friends, that is a wrap for our tour of the library today. I hope you had fun. Remember that if you can't come see us in person, you can still go to our Facebook page where we have story time. You can hear fun stories that my dog Meatball helps with. And you can also participate in really super fun activities until you can come here in person and visit us. And then when you're here, you can maybe do a really cool project like this big birthday cake, or we could do a science experiment. We could read stories. We could have a giant puppet dance party. I can't wait to come for you to come and see me here at the Braddock Carnegie Library. Our keyword is meatball, so be sure to write down meatball in your library explorer's passport. All right, once again, I'm Miss Mandy from the Braddock Carnegie Library, and we can't wait to see you here. Bye.